Hello folks, so this is Brian Lobos Quintanilla, you know, eventually Brian Lobos, look. Um, I'm right now, I'm heading to do some errands. Um, I got my Jesus, my Jesus, um, my Jesus hoodie. Look, Jesus is from hell, attention sinners, risk of fire, my Jesus hat. And over here, I got, I got some of these. In my Docker shirt. So that's your... Repent and believe the gospel. Somebody else passed by with a skateboarder. So half of my neighborhood, you know, right here, um, they rejected my gospel church back in 2021. So near my house, as I was walking towards like the store, I'm going to run some errands. As I was running to do my errands, I prayed before I left my house. I prayed to the Lord to help me, you know, to um, for a divine appointment, for a divine encounter. This. Um, and I saw four teenagers, I believe two girls and two boys, and I gave them one of these. So yeah, I'm very well equipped. You know, that's something I cannot leave my house in my conviction. I cannot leave my house without no gospel track. I always, that's why I call myself the 24-7, 365 days evangelist, because if you're a street preacher like me, brothers and sisters, if you're an evangelist, well, if you're a Christian in general, you don't have to be a street preacher to do this. You gotta preach the gospel. Jesus said to go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. You know, no one's excluded from the gospel. I love what our brother said that the gospel is for everybody, but, it, but it's not for everyone. Because, um, yeah. Because, yeah. Um, it's not for everyone because, you know, not everyone's going to receive it. And, and um, I'm going to tell you where I'm getting with it. Hola, hola. Dios te bendiga. Aquí te regalo una persona de la palabra de Dios. Adelante, lo tengo por el día, ok. Dios les bendiga. Si hay donde es, Chive. Dios te bendiga. Sí. So, yeah, there's, you know, there's occasions that I don't really have to say a word to nobody. Yeah, the Father of the in my neighborhood. So, but as I was saying, you know, um, even if people reject the gospel, like, you know, these people that I saw, like the people who near my, near the school, way. this is like my middle school, by the way. But anyways, let me continue. You know, when you obey the Lord, you know, like the Lord answers prayers, I ask the Lord, Lord, hey, you want me to talk to somebody? You want me to pass out a gospel track? Please prompt me to who to give it to. There's times, you know, when I see people just walking by, I don't want to give it to them. Look, I have my cargo pants. Oh, shh. It's kind of open. So, but yes, brothers and sisters, obedience is better than sacrifice. That Tamalero guy, this is like the fourth gospel track I gave him. I gave him like four gospel tracks. <laughs> One of them is the Virgin Mary track. Okay, there's a lot of Catholics in my area, you know. Um, here, look. Bingo! I, I saw a Catholic card, look. This card over here, it's Catholic. And I'm gonna st stick this in right here. There you go. Tranquilito, Camilo. Tranquilo, Camilo. I stick out a, a, a Virgin Mary gospel track in that man's car. Um, so yes, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys. There's times I myself, I don't wanna pass out a track to nobody. Sometimes, I'm a shy, I, I struggle with shyness sometimes. 
because the Lord prompts me to pass out somebody a gospel track. Like the only reason I didn't give like, well, yeah, I told them to repent and believe in Jesus, the people who were walking by. And of course, what's because, um, you know, wow, I'm in an evangelistic mode, you know, um, he is very important, you know. Señor, Dios te bendiga, es tratado de la palabra de Dios. Oh, Luego le tengo oportunidad, Cristo le ama. Pasa un día. Uh, that was a close one. I'm running out of my merchant Mary tracks, but anyways, as I was saying, I myself, guys, sometimes like there's days like I don't want to talk to nobody. I just want to go up on my day. I want to be left alone, but it's the flesh, you know. You gotta crucify the flesh, brothers and sisters. You gotta crucify it, like. So I have been telling the Lord, you know, when the Lord tells me to give up someone a track. Sometimes I told the Lord, oh, but Lord, I don't want to, Lord. I don't want to. Like, can you send somebody else to do it? Uh, this person, maybe they had a bad day, Lord. I don't know. Maybe they're not ready to, re to hear it, but the Lord's like, Brian, I'm not asking you. If the person had a bad day, too, I, I want you to do it. Because, of course, you know, ultimately, the Lord doesn't need me. And the Lord does not need you. But he wants to use us for his glory. So, again, part of being a Christian... Part of the Christian walk is for you to do something that you don't want to do. So yes, you know, I got gospel tracks. I got like, you know, my preaching gear. Let's get to work saying, if you're not evangelizing, if you're not passing out gospel tracks, if you're not telling anybody about Jesus, examine yourself. Examine yourself. Jesus Christ commands us to share the gospel to all creation. Nobody's exempt for the gospel. Bro, so I want to leave you guys with that. I hope you guys receive this exhortation. Again, you know, I'm not like mad. I'm not condemning you. But go out there and do so, sacrifice yourself for the Lord. Jesus Christ said, you know, if you love me, keep my commandments. And if you love Jesus, you're going to share the gospel. You're going to be part of the Great Commission. So, yes, uh, again, there's days that I don't want to, uh, because, you know, people in the day are very good. They don't want to talk to you. They pass by you, you know, they don't want to say hi, but at the end of the day, you know, it doesn't matter how I feel, what matters is what God, what God wants me to do. So I leave you with this, brothers and sisters. Continue sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Win souls. Try to talk to someone about Jesus, they don't want to be here. Then Jesus said to check the dust off your feet and move to somebody else. Because my neighborhood is big. The Bible says that the harvest is many. But the laborers are few. It's time to go. It's time to get to work, brothers and sisters. Jesus Christ is coming soon. So I want to share this small message that there's times, you know, I don't want to share the God. I, I don't want to pass out a gospel track. I'm like, Lord, is it my duty enough? But the Lord's like, I want you to do it, Brian. I want you to open your mouth and tell somebody about me. I want you to pass out a gospel track, even if the person's in a rush. Because sometimes I'm like, no, Lord, what are, what are they, what are they not in the mood? Of course, there's times I'm led to leave them alone, and there's times I'm led to, like, speak to them. So, anyways, brothers and sisters, I have arrived my destination to the store. I'm going to go run my errands. God bless you guys, and um, <coughs> I hope this message encourages you. Deny yourself. That means, you know, even talking to people, you don't feel comfortable. You're not comfortable, like, you know, I was telling, I was telling myself that, I don't feel comfortable letting people are going to hell. But that's the truth of the matter. If you don't, you know, if you're not, if you do not abide in Jesus, you know, Jesus Christ is going to cut you off from the mind. Jesus Christ is divine. You got Father going to cut you off if you don't abide in Him. Abide in Him. He and you. I don't know